Jinx the Calico Cat is Just Like Me um, by Sadie Atkinson. Male calico cat genetics are the perfect model for Kleinfelter syndrome in humans. I decided to illustrate a children's book to explain how calico cats get their fur color and to talk about the male calico cat with Kleinfelter syndrome in a way that is relatable to a child with a disorder. I re recommend listening to the presentation and then going through the slides after and read the book as a child would read it. Jinx is a rare male calico cat. He is the new pet for Lucky, the unicorn who also has Kleinfelter syndrome. His name is Jinx because he has an XXY chromosome, which is a biological phenomenon where the male cat has an extra X chromosome. Jinx's dad is a black cat and his mom is an orange tabby and Jinx is a male calico cat. The black and orange color on a cat is X-linked. Each X chromosome can only have the allele for either orange or black since male cats only have one X chromosome, they can only be black or orange, but not both. Since females have two X chromosomes, they can display black, orange, or both. A female cat with orange and black fur is called a tortoiseshell, and a female cat with orange, black, and white is called a calico. The white on a cat is not exclusive to the calico cat, it can also be seen in both male and female cats, such as your black and white tuxedo cat, the orange tabby with patches of white, and the calico. This white pattern is called p-balding. It is expressed on any of the other 22 pairs of autosomes or chromosomes that are not the X and Y sex chromosomes. Only calicos can have tricolored fur. A calico is not a breed of cats. Calico is the orange and black tortoiseshell with white fur coloring. Many breeds of cats can display this calico coat such as Persians, Maine Coons, Tabbies, and even hairless Sphinxes. The Sphinx cat, as you can see here, can display the color pattern on their skin and whatever little bits of fur that they may have. So even on their skin, the um, orange and black will rep be represented. All female mammals, including cats and humans, can only have one X chromosome active in each cell at a time. Early in embryonic development, an X chromosome is inactivated in each cell. The cell, this produce process is called X inactivation or lionization, which was discovered by Mary Lyon, a British geneticist. During, during X inactivation, each cell in the embryonic stage of the female cat gets either the allele for black or orange. These cats then divide and multiply to form patches of black or orange on their cat's fur coat. This is what gives the calico cat the patches of black or orange in different variations. The black and orange coloring is co-dominant, so either allele can be expressed depending on which X chromosome is inactivated. So here you can see there's eight embryo cells. Each one of these cells will divide and multiply to make the patches orange and black. When the X chromosome is inactivated, it condenses tightly and looks like a dark spot on the wall of the nucleus in the cell. Um, I used the U here to represent what a bar body, where the bar body would be. Um, the inactivated chromosome is called a bar body, which was discovered by Murray Barr. Bar bodies can be seen on the somatic cells in females. So how did genes get the cat? get the calico coat. Um, here the male does not have a bar body and so like he will just express um, be black because his two or his X chromosome is for black. Whereas the female, even though she has two orange chromosomes, only one of those orange um, chromosomes can be represented in each cell of the cat female. Jinx is a male calico, so which calico cat, which makes him rare? They estimate one in 3,000 calicos are male. And when I was looking it up um, in humans, it's like one in 600 males have Kleinfelter syndrome um, and carry the XXY chromosome. Um, so that was kind of interesting. Male cats with calico fur have, they have um, Kleinfelter syndrome because they, um, have two X chromosomes um, and can express both 
the orange and the black fur trait like a female would. Um, and then one of the X chromosomes is inactivated and becomes a bar body. In meiosis, um, division of the chromosomes is equal to form four gametes with two chromatids each. Um, here is what normal meiosis looks like where you end up with four normal gametes that have two chromatids each. In Kleinfelter syndrome, um, the sister chromatids do not separate during meiosis, one or two. Um, Non-disjunction is failure of the chromosomes to separate during cell division. When this happens, you get gametes with one, two, or three chromatids. In Kleinfelter syndrome, you get three chromatids instead of two. Because of this, Jinx has an extra chromosome. The extra X chromosome can come from either the father or the mother. Here you can see the disjunction is in the first stage of my uh, meiosis, and here it is in the second. And I think technically it could happen in both, and then you'd have three, three, and one and one. In cats with Kleinfelter syndrome, they can have cognitive and developmental issues, um, problems with reduced mineral um, content that can make them more prone to um, fractures. Um, they can have increased body fat, which puts them at risk for heart disease, diabetes, and joint pain. They are also sterile with smaller testicles. Um, calico males are a perfect animal model for the XXY Kleinfelter syndrome in human males with a disorder. Um, Lucky, Lucky also has Kleinfelters and learning about his cat, Jinx helps him understand what makes him unique. Um, since the book is intended for children, um, I have left um, it up to the parents to be able to discuss um, how it affects the child's sexual health. Um, it, um, but with males with Kleinfelter syndrome, um, they may not even know that they have it until they reach the age of puberty and then they do not develop normally. So then they need testosterone replacement and fertility treatments. Um, and, um, but they can live a full um, healthy life. Um, and cats are also have issues with the sterility. Um, and I was reading that um, males with Kleinfelter syndrome, like humans, they, they can go through fertility treatments um, to try to get enough um, sperm to uh, do in vitro fertilization. Um, and that is the end of my story uh, presentation. And here's my citations.